ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is Jacob from JC Tech Spot here, and today I am going to be showing you guys how you can fix your FaceTime failed notifications on your jailbroken iOS 9.3.3 device. Now, a lot of people have been having the problem of FaceTime crashing, so although I've already fixed my device, you can see it's jailbroken. Um, just so for a little bit of proof, I'm going to head over into settings and show you guys that I am running the newest uh, uh, iOS 9.3.3 as you can see right there 9.3.3 it is jailbroken with the fully working Cydia as you can already see some of the tweaks that I've installed on the device um, you know but one of the main problems that people have been having is whenever they try to FaceTime someone after jailbreaking it will always fail now of course I've already fixed this so I can't show you an example but you know that's exactly what happens for some of you and for those of you that are having this problem there aren't really any videos or explanations out there so I'm gonna decide to be the first one to show you guys um, for a more exp explained uh, version of this video, go into the description and just uh, find out the video how to re-jailbreak after un-jailbreaking. So essentially what this is, it's just your un-jailbreaking and re-jailbreaking. I promise you won't lose any of your information, any of your tweaks, any of your applications. But all you're going to do is head into, uh, you know, Cydia and you're going to search up this tweak. You're going to search up Repower. And so some of you already may have this. You don't really necessarily need this, but it really makes it much easier. Repower, you're going to go ahead and install it, confirm, add it. And all it does is basically add multiple options onto your, you know, little, your shut off thing right here when you shut off. And you're just going to want, you're mainly using the reboot one. So basically we're going to go close all apps and we're going to unjailbreak our device. So this is just a quick explanation. So we're going to unjailbreak by rebooting. Now this is a semi-tethered jailbreak, so that means if you restart or if you power off your device, it will basically lose your jailbreak and your tweaks until you decide to re-jailbreak. Re-jailbreaking is very easy though. So we're just going to go ahead and wait about 30 seconds until this does actually re-jailbreak. Uh, or not re right? restart our device, and you will immediately see the Zeppelin cylinder, none of that will work, lock glyph, all of our tweaks will be gone, and Cydia will continue to crash. So, let us go ahead and wait for this to load. Come on, let's go, iPhone. Kick it into, kick it into full speed here. So, as you can immediately see, Zeppelin is gone, our, you know, cylinder is gone, Cydia is still there, but it will always crash every time you try to open it. It will always crash no matter what you do. If you go into settings, your tweaks are gone. So essentially, you're completely unjailbroken. Right now, your tweaks, everything you've gone is lost. But it's very easy. Now your FaceTime should, of course, work again, just being the fact that you are uh, unjailbroken. But you can re-jailbreak and have your FaceTime continue to work. So you're just going to go ahead and open the PP Jailbreak app uh, right here. It should have come with your jailbreak. And you're gonna go ahead and go into settings, change a couple things. First thing you wanna do is disable all passcode and touch ID. You can still have fingerprints saved just as long as they're not used for iPhone Unlock or iTunes and App Store. You're gonna go to iCloud and sign out of your iCloud and turn off Find My iPhone. And then your one more thing, you're gonna go into your notifications and make sure that PP jailbreak notifications are off. So do not allow notifications for PP jailbreak. Then you're gonna go ahead and close all apps once again, including the PP jailbreak app. And once again, open the PP jailbreak app. Oh, excuse me, that's not the PP jailbreak app. There we go. You're going to wait for about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You're going to go ahead and click in the circle. Wait for about 20 seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and ready. And then you're just going to go ahead and lock your device. Simply lock it, do nothing else, and leave it as it is. You can get the storage almost full notification. That's exactly what you need to do. And your device will respring. And you will notice as soon as it's finished respringing, jailbreak successful. We are re-jailbroken. You will see immediately my tweaks will kick in. You don't lose any tweaks, any information, any of your, you know, I'd say any saved city of themes, all of that. It will still work. This is incredible, guys. As you can see right there, I just got to wait for my carrier to kick in right there. Everything is back to normal. So, you know, my cylinder's back. My Cydia, once again, working successfully, guys. And your FaceTime should work as well. So, basically, the device is unrecognized the jailbreak. You restarted. Your FaceTime should work perfectly again. And you'll be able to continue using FaceTime video and FaceTime audio as normal. So, this is the final solution to fixing FaceTime after a jailbreak. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, if this helped you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in our next video. Thank you guys for watching.